The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question number 12 wants us to use dilution, essentially, to figure out um, how much volume or how many mo uh, molar of a solution we have. So it says, to what volume should you dilute 25 milliliters? So we have 25 milliliters of a 10.0 molar H2SO4, so sulfuric acid, solution to obtain a 0 0.10, or sorry, a 0 0.150. molar solution of H2SO4. So we're looking for the volume. So these questions are pretty straightforward and that's why I enjoy doing these dilution questions. Because we always use this formula when we do this kind of question. M1V1 is equal to M2, V2. And what this says is, if we have a solution with a known molarity, and we multiply it by the volume, then we can calculate either the molarity of the solution given a volume that we want, or we can calculate the volume given how concentrated or the molarity of the solution. So in this case, it says we have a 25 milliliter solution. So, that's volume one. Then it says we have a 10 molar solution of H2SO4. So, that is our first molarity. It tells us that we want the second molarity to have a concentration of 0 0.150 molar. So that's M2, and we don't know what the second volume is, but now we can calculate it. We can calculate it by simple multiplication and division. 10 molar times 25 milliliters equals 0.15 molar times X. So we do 10 times 25 divided by 0 0.150 equals 1,666. 0.6 repeating milliliters. If we go to our exam, all the answer choices are in liters. So, we do 1666.6 divided by 1000 equals 1.6 repeating liters. 1.6 rounds up to 1.7 because we have so many sixes. So we have approximately 1.7 liters as our final volume. And we can go ahead and look. Answer choice number three for question 12 says 1.7 liters. So anytime we see a question like this, just think M1V1 equals M2V2, a simple proportion or ratio and we can solve for X. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.